Now that we have all of our parameters and dimensions in place, there are a few things we need to do with our family to make sure that it's all where it should be. I do have a project sitting behind this family in the family editor. So the good thing is if I save this family, it will save it to the projects folder where the Revit project is. So let's do that first. We go up here and we click on the application menu, go to save as, and we want to save it as a family. So that will go to my projects folder. Now you'll notice I've already got a UK 600 by 600 SHS family there, and there's the incremental revision saves that it does as you're working in Revit. I'm going to save over that one there, click on save, and that's done. So that's now saved. Now what we need to think about are the family types and how we flex the geometry to check that none of our constraints or our parametrics are going to fail when we place this particular family into our Revit project. So what we've got to do now is go into the Modify tab on the ribbon, into the Properties panel, and click here, Family Types. Now you can see that all of our settings here are locked off. Can you see the ticks there in the Lock column? So our column width, our column depth, our column thickness, they're all locked off. So the depth and the width there, we don't actually need those. If you think about it, they could go, because we've already got other parameters, column width, column thickness, column depth. So I could select that one there, and that parameter I could remove. Delete that parameter, yes I can. And also the width one, I can remove that one as well, because I've already got those set here. So we've got width, thickness, depth, they're all parameters that we can use. Now, this is a 600 by 600 by 35 square hollow section. So those would need to be locked, but we need to create a family type by clicking on new. So we'll use the same naming philosophy. So you can see it's 600 by 600, then we'll put another X in for 35, and then SHS. That will show up in the properties palette when we bring it in to the project itself. So I'm going to OK that now, and you'll see that we have a family type. Can you see that? So that's our family type within our family here, our 600 by 600 SHS. So our 600s need to remain the same. If I create another new family type now, though, what will happen Let's say another UK underscore 600. Make sure you type these right because these are going to be used by people inserting the families into projects. So we'll have a 50 thickness as well, like that. And we'll put SHS in there to keep it consistent. So if I click on OK there, we've got a 50 as well. So I'm going to change that value there to 50. And I'll apply that and I'll OK it. Now you'll notice that updates. If I go back here, like so, and click here now and go for the 35 and apply that, it updates to 35. Can you see that? That's what these parametric family types do. Now, because they're locked each time with the three ticks, when I bring it into the project now, those settings are fixed. So I'll apply that and I'll OK that. Now, there's one more setting that we need to set. We need to go to an elevation. So we'll go for the back elevation, let's say. And you can see here when I zoom in, that that upper reference level there is 4000. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place another dimension in there. So I go to Annotate, Aligned, and I'll just go from here to here, like that, and that at the moment is 4000. Now what I'm going to do is select that dimension, make sure that you hit Escape to come out of the Dimensioning tool, click there, and we need to create another new parameter. It's a family parameter and it's going to be Column Height and it is based on the dimension, so I'll OK that like that. So there's my column height parameter. Now that one won't be locked. So I'll just hit Escape there just to deselect it, go back here now into the Properties panel on the Modify tab, and you'll notice now we have a column height. Notice, can you see there, 4000 is greyed out. Now I'm going to apply that, and I'm going to OK it. So let's click there, like so, and let's have a look at this now. So the column height for the report there is 4,000, but I might change that. If I change the value here, like so, if I zoom in and click there and change that to 3,000 and press Enter, that updates. So then my upper reference level now is 3,000. So let's have a look now at what happens if I just hit Escape a few times there in here. That's still 3,000, and it's still locked off, so it's a 3,000 high. Okay, so we'll apply that. And we'll OK that. 
Now, we haven't actually added any family elements yet. All we've done is add the parametrics. So if I go back now to the lower reference level, that's all still as it was before. You can see that there. So there's the column thicknesses, the column depths, and so on. So what we'll do in the next video is we'll look at adding the family elements to this and making sure that it's all ready to go into our project.